Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome to the Flit Cave. It's been a few weeks since the last q and I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Things got a little bit hectic, and you know, these Q&As are where we connect. I literally feel like you're all in the camera, and sometimes if I just reach in there, I can pull one of you out, and I just go... So it's a bonding process, and with all that said, one of the first questions up is, John, what are some of your favorite TV series of all time? Now before I answer that and dive into your questions, I quickly wanted to let you know about some new action-packed TV series over on TNT. Yeah, they have some really cool new shows like the show Legends, starring Sean Bean as an undercover spy. And speaking of that, a few months ago, if you didn't know already, I got to interview Sean Bean. It was the most intense thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, anyway, the new show Legends, that's pretty cool and action-packed. By the way, on a side note, Sean Bean's character in the show has not died yet. I know, it's amazing, so yeah, check it out. And then you have the show The Last Ship, brought to you by Michael Explosions Bay, about a small group of people on a Navy vessel traveling around trying to save the planet. And this actually looks very intriguing to me and kind of scary at the same time. And last but not least, you have Steven Spielberg's Falling Skies, about a small group of humans who go up against hordes of alien invaders. That synopsis right there intrigues me. I'm, I kind of want to check that out now. So in a way, yeah, you can click the annotation right here to go to TNT's YouTube channel, check out behind the scenes featurettes and more other cool stuff. While you're there, give them a subscribe and tell them the Flickster sent ya. So in a way, guys, let's jump into your questions. <sighs> now we can relax. Let's take a drink of the kryptonite juice. If I was Superman, that would kill me. So what are some of my favorite TV series of all times? Well, up until a few years ago, I was really never into TV series. Like, over the years, I would say uh, some of the first TV series I remember watching... Uh, I remember watching bits and pieces of The Sopranos, never got through it all. And then I remember watching the TV series Oz on HBO about prison inmates. Yeah, that was dark and scary. I remember watching that as a kid. Uh, but recently, uh, I remember my big kind of reintroduction to TV series was Breaking Bad. For years and years since I've been on YouTube, everyone was like, John, watch Breaking Bad. It's the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. And if you don't see it, we're all going to kick your ass. And I was like, okay, I'm going to watch it. So, uh, yeah, a few years back, I remember a, a binge watching every single season of Breaking Bad. I remember in one night, I think I watched an entire season. I didn't sleep. Um, so, yeah, uh, Breaking Bad is one of my favorites of all time. Maybe my favorite of all, all time. Because every episode was just so intense and well done, and you just had to watch the next episode when you got done with the other one. You're like, you're, I need it, I need it. It's like, it was some kind of weird form of crack, but speaking of Breaking Bad, it was more like meth. And then, uh, Walking Dead. Now, Walking Dead is a love-hate relationship. I like a lot of episodes, but there's some episodes that I just despise and hate, and I'm like, why did you do that? This show could easily be better than it is, but it's almost like they drag out every single thing in that show, to sell more merchandise and they're too scared to kill anyone off now because if you kill any character off they're like well we can't make more toys and sell it uh, so that's kind of how that show feels to me now uh, but just recently a, a few months back I, I rewatched uh, all the episodes of The Sopranos I watched the entire series from start to finish and I gotta say The Sopranos might be one of my favorite TV shows of all time Tony Soprano that's a great character um, what else Pauly plus Pauly from the TV show fucking hilarious uh, what else is there? Um, I just started watching Boardwalk Empire with Steve Buscemi. Really like it. Takes place in the 1920s. Hey, what are you doing over there, Dame? Huh? Um, that's how I would talk, even though no one in the TV show talks like that. Uh, but that's a pretty good TV show. I'm, I'm actually, it's, it's very interesting. I love shows that take place in, in a different time period. Uh, and also, and now I'm finally starting to do it, Game of Thrones. I watched the first episode. I'm intrigued by it. I'm hoping it, it holds my interest. I know a lot of my friends love it. A lot of you guys love it. But I'm going to continue watching it. And uh, so, yeah, those are some of my favorite TV series of all times. Uh, and if I didn't mention any good TV series, let me know some of them down below. Uh, if they include vampires and shit, don't, don't let me know because I'm not into that. But everything else, let me know down below. All right, let's jump into more questions here. Uh, all right, here it is. All right, the next question is, hey, John, what's your advice on depression? I get quite lonely a lot and get treated like crap a lot. Second question is, John, how are you? How's life going? Hope it's great. Thanks, man. Life's going pretty good right now. Uh, but as far as depression goes, I just want to open up with this right here. Just listen to this audio clip right here by the man, the myth, the legend, Sylvester Stallone. Just enjoy this. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. 
It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you gotta go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, and ain't nobody's right to say no. Not to earn your right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. Just take that in, man. Suck that in right now. I want you to remember that right now. And I don't mean this as a joke. I mean, I make a lot of Sylvester Stallone jokes. I don't know. But right there, that, that's some really good solid life advice right there. You know, here's my advice to you. You suck all that negative energy in, all that shit people say to you that's negative, and you use that as fuel, as your fire, to do something positive with it. All the negative shit that you hear every day of people treat you like crap is because they have insecurities about their life. And just know that you're better than them, all right? So one day, when they're in the gutter crying, you're going to look down on them as a lightning bolt streaks past your head. They're going to look back up at you, and they're going to say, help me, and you're going to look back at them, and you're going to say, not today. And that's going to be the defining moment of your life. All right. So yeah, <laughs> sorry, it got a little bit too epic there at the end. But yeah, it, um, just enjoy life. That's my best advice to you. If you could, if you could kill one director, who would it be? <clears throat> I'd probably go back in time and murder Joel Schumacher before he made the Batman movies. I think that'd be the best thing for humanity. Do a Flit Cave tour. Um, I'm in the Flit Cave right now. I guess I could do a tour. I've showed it off a few times. There's not much to it. Here's the uh, the couch, the, the movie shelf, the TV behind you. So really not much going on in here right now. So... There's a Justin Timberlake question, In Time. I have seen the movie In Time. Hey, John, I know as well as everyone you like Batman, so what did you think about Batman Forever? I'll give you the backstory on that movie. I remember going to the theater the day that movie came out, and I was really excited to see it, and I watched the movie, and I remember Chris O'Donnell attempting to play Robin. He looked like he was 30 years old, but... And it felt off to me because you got to think the last incarnation of Batman I had was Michael Keaton, Tim Burton movies, dark, very, you know, gritty. And this new incarnation was just like all bright and vivid with too many hair lights going on. And Jim Carrey as the Riddler, I was just like, oh, that's Jim Carrey playing the Riddler. And Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face and everyone was hamming it up, being too comical. But I didn't hate the movie. I didn't think it was that good even when I was young, but I didn't hate the movie. And then I remember a few years later, I seen Batman and Robin, and I remember watching that in the theater and just thinking, this isn't right, something's wrong, this movie sucks. So even, that's how I know I truly hate that movie, because I was a Batman fanboy all my life. And it, even as a kid, when your brain's kind of mushy and doesn't really know how to make proper decisions, I knew that movie was bad. Will you watch Gotham on Fox? Maybe. I will maybe watch it. It's just, I'm, I, I've said this once and I'm going to say it again. The entire superhero genre put on, put into TV series, not a fan of it. It just, in every single episode, it feels underwhelming to me. And when you make an entire TV series wrapped around the, the lore of Batman, you know, the, the villains, uh, you know, the Wayne family, Gotham City... And you don't put Batman in it. I, I, I get what you're going for. I, I truly do. But how hard would it be just to make a Batman TV series? Like you have, like you take Gotham, for example. You use all the same things that you're doing right now. And then at some point in the show, you just have Batman. You see, like, is, would that be so crazy? I don't comprehend what the heads of studios are thinking. Like, why not just make a TV series about Batman? It's going to do phenomenal. If you get good writers, a good director, and you put together a good TV show, and you take it seriously, that could be the biggest thing ever. But no, let's just make a TV show about Gotham City, but not put Batman in it. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, yeah, eventually I will watch it. 
<coughs> um, yo, Biff. You're the best, man. I've been watching you for a year, and you just get better and better. New movies, Flip Trips, Flip Cave, and better quality videos. Love you, man. I love you too, man. I love you a lot. Uh, <laughs> and do another Arnold impression, please. What are you doing? I don't know. That's my Arnold impression. All right, so I'm losing my voice right now. Um, I'm getting raspy. All right. Hey, John, your video is awesome. I... All I do is watch them in my spare time. Your movie reviews flip trips are fucking awesome. Plus, you seem like a hilarious dude to hang out with. Uh, but if there was no Batman or Superman or even Captain America, who would be your number one hero? Ooh, that's a good question, man. Um, I might go with Wolverine on that. Can I go with Wolverine? I like anti-heroes. I don't like good guys who are just pure goodness. Like, uh, yeah, I guess Captain America is the closest thing to that. Kind of a Boy Scout character, but I go Wolverine. Hey, John the Hulk, love your videos. Been watching since you bought the CKY box set. Damn, you have buffed up since then. Uh, <clears throat> my question is, have you seen any of the Lars von Trier movies? If so, what do you think about them? Um, I have seen some of them. Some of them disgust me. They're, some of them are movies that you don't want to watch when you're eating. Uh, so... I guess that's what I would say if I was an actual professional critic. And that's what they'd put on the box. These are movies that you don't want to watch when you're eating. Hey, Johnny Flickster, where did you get that awesome rock 80s music from in your intros? I got that from um, a website called Audio Macro. Uh, you have to pay for the, the licensing to use the music on there. But I just typed in 80s music, 80s rock music, and that was one of the ones I picked from. So go to Audio Macro. They have some really cool... Uh, music to pick from. Okay, the next question is, uh, hey Johnny Boy, if you could combine any two movies together into one film, what would they be? Mine would be American Psycho and Taxi Driver. P.S. I bet you can't pronounce my name. Kona Wood. I think I got it, right? Um, two movies into one. Jurassic Park, The Dark Knight. Imagine that shit. Batman riding a dinosaur? I'd pay to see that. Um, hey John, what do you think of Al Pacino saying he would like to be in a Marvel movie? Love the show, by the way. Thanks, man. Um, he probably, I, I think... Hoo-ha, motherfucker! Hey, Iron Man! Come here, do a line of blow! Ha-ha, hoo-ha, hoo-ha! Uh, hoo-ha, motherfucker! <laughs> I gotta calm down. <laughs> Alright, um, what just happened there? It's that man who's going to give the X the inch. Who's going to win the fights? Hoo-ha. Uh, it's not even getting good. It's getting worse. Um, <laughs> I, I would love to see Al Pacino and everything. Al Pacino's hilarious. Um, <laughs> all right. <coughs> that hurt my voice. All right. Hey, John, are there any shitty movies that you enjoy watching? Like, you know, the horrible, but you just watch it for... Yeah, okay. As far as shitty movies I love watching... I watch Van Helsing every October. I think that's a phenomenal October movie. It's sh it's cheesy, it's shitty, but I enjoy it. It's just fun. Plus, Hugh Jackman turns into a werewolf. Uh, what are some shitty movies you guys enjoy? Yeah, I'm actually, let me know some of that. What are some shitty movies you guys like watching, but you really like them? Let me know down below. And just put, this is what shitty movie I like. So let me know down below in the comments on that. John, I know you've done workout videos, but what tips can you give someone like me who is pretty out of shape on getting started? You know, the first thing you can do and one of the easiest things you can do without even getting that physical about it is just watching your diet. You know, if you drink a lot of soda and eat a lot of crap, cut that out. Give it a month or two and you'll be surprised at what you see, you know, after two months of actually just eating good food. You know, eat protein, eat chicken, eat tuna, um, just eat healthy. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, and once you actually start going to the gym or, or, or exercises, uh, blah, 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 I can't talk. My brain just melted. Yeah, but once you start exercising and running or jogging or just being at home doing push-ups or just doing, um, you could do squats just standing. You don't need weight. Just stand and squat. You could even go to the refrigerator, grab a couple milk jugs, and curl those sons of bitches. I'm not kidding. You can get a pump from that. I've done it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, just stay active, get your heart rate going, and just do things at home to stay in shape. Uh, if you have stairs in your house, a second floor, run up and down the stairs 30 times a day, right in a row. You're going to start sweating, your heart rate's going to start going, you're going to feel good about yourself. You'll even feel better if you wear a Batman mask when you do it. So, okay, let's answer a few more questions before my voice gives out and my head explodes. All right, John, would you ever consider getting a Batman tattoo? Can I have a shout-out? That comes from Robin Mitchell. Would I get a Batman tattoo? Probably not. You know, if I was going to get a tattoo of anything, it probably would be a Batman tattoo, but I don't want any tattoos. I'm too indecisive, and I don't trust anyone tattooing on me. Like, I just I just know they're going to sneeze and put a big line across my face, and I'm going to get a little bit angry after that. So probably never will get a tattoo of any kind. Uh, John, what do you think about the new upcoming Clerks movie? Well, if you haven't heard already, they are going to make a Clerks 3. Kevin Smith said uh, after he made the movie Tusk, he got his financing to do Clerks 3, which is really cool. I love Clerks. You know, the first Clerks movie was kind of sort of like my life in high school. Like, I go to work, but I really wouldn't do my job, and me and my friends would just talk talk about movies all day long as we fuck shit up. So, yeah, that, I love the first Clerks movie, and I like the second Clerks movie. I don't love it as much as the first one. Uh, it's just that donkey scene at the end of the movie. It just... I didn't find it all that funny, um, and it went on a little bit too long, so I can't wait to see Clerks 3. I, I, I just hope it goes back to how the first one was. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's going to wrap up the Q&A for today. As usual, ask anything and everything down below in the comments section. I'll answer it next week, and we might do a live Q&A sometime this week, so look out for that. Uh, it'll probably be sometime in the mid-afternoon. So just giving you a heads up right now, and I will announce it on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, those links are down below. So anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.